Okay, you ready, Will? Let's do this. The hell am I going with my Korean? I think I'm doing all right. I'm starting to get the understand uh, particles and things like that. As I've said in a previous video, I don't read yet. As far as recognize words, like if you show me a word, I can't just look at it and go, boom, you know, that's what that word is. You know, it's sort of like if I pick up a piece of paper in English, I can just look at the word and go, boom, that's what that word is. I don't have to hear it or anything else. I'm starting to learn how to sound things out. Like I can sound things out and if I understand it, I'm good. It's like, I got flashcards, for example. So I look at that and I don't see it. I don't understand the, the word. So I look at that and okay. But going back to like a child, I can go ha na, ha na, ha na. Well, that's one. Well, I've got my flashcards. So obviously I know I'm getting slowly, but still. Now here's a pile of flashcards. These are just numbers. I'm going to pick out a number. Is that random? Okay, now you can see it, I can't. Um, so, like I said, I'm looking at the word and it's like, I got no clue. But if I sound it out, da so. Da so. Uh, I'm a dual. Hana do set ne dos five. Five? Am I right? Yep, five. See, that's how I read <laughs> in Korean. So it's sort of like I can look at I can look at the word and sound it out like like a child would. You know how when you're very first learning to read, you sit there and going hamburger you know, and you you'd sound out the word. That's how I'm reading at the moment. But if I don't understand, if I don't know the word, then I can sound it out. It just doesn't mean anything to me. So that is where I've got to really pick up my game. So um, I might, I've been thinking maybe I should try and set some time where, put that away. Maybe I should get out the flashcards more. I've, I basically printed out flashcards for um, when I'm away and I don't have it. Cause like I go hiking in the middle of nowhere and when I don't have signal then, and I can't watch videos, I've got those and I, when I'm bored, you know, if, if I've got some downtime, I can read through them. And when we went away for a week, I only had like three or four times where that was the case and I don't, got them out so I'm not doing a lot of reading I'm more trying to get a vocabulary because I'm not actually learning a single word you know like this word this word this word this word this word but also I'm more or less learning phrases like yeah that's I made a reservation it's for two people <laughs> but yeah I really got to sort of find some time, sit down and, you know, work on reading and, and start learning words as though, you know, like when you're in school and you're learning. So I really got to start learning to, uh, to recognize the word when you're learning English and when you're a kid growing up and all that, yeah, you're sort of like sounding out, but you get to that stage, you're native and no matter what, you will just see the full word and that whole symbol, you'll recognize exactly what that word is, what it means, all that sort of stuff. That's how we read and that's how we keep going. So I've got to get to that stage. That's one of my issues with learning Korean at the moment. I just wanted to get a little bit more clearer on why I don't read Korean at the moment. Because I've been focusing more on phrases, but I'll talk about that in another video. So it's a challenge, but I'll get there. Because I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs>